Hey gang, what's going on? Today we are taking a look at Transformers Generations Legends Class, Starscream and Waspinator. So we've got Starscream in his IDW uh, F-22 configuration, and Waspinator is, well, Waspinator. Turning the figure around on the back, or the box on the back, uh, nice, beautiful tech specs here, and the figures up here. So let's go ahead, open them up, and take a quick look. Out of the packaging, Waspinator and Starscream look okay. They don't look too bad. We'll talk about Waspinator in a little bit, but first, Starscream. Starscream's robot mode is quite solid and looks really cool, though as you just saw, he does have a little bit of top heaviness due to this giant one-piece wing section. It's not a bad top heaviness, but it does come into play in certain poses. And speaking of posability, head cannot move. Arms, ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow, ball joint in the hip, hinge joint in the knee, and there is some foot articulation for the transformation. One thing I do have to stress though, the guns or the null rays in his arms come out very easily and do have a tendency to fall out on their own. Just moving it sometimes has caused it to fall out. The other issue I have with this figure are the blue plastic, or, or is the blue plastic used for the tail fins here and the front feet. It's incredibly soft, incredibly flexible, and really should not be on this figure. I understand why Hasbro would use it. It's probably very cheap and easy to source, but it's a problem, and it's going to degrade very quickly, which really worries me. Head sculpt for Starscream is pretty darn good. I gotta admit, that is a nice head sculpt for Starscream, and it's definitely the IDW design. Just an overall nice looking torso there though the guns and the giant wings on the back are a little bit problematic and do throw off the proportions a bit, but at this size class, I really don't mind. Again, Hasbro's really stepping up their game design-wise with these little figures. Waspinator is a little bit of an annoyance, and I'm being as nice as I can. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't care for this little figure. The overall paint on the figure isn't bad, but just it feels cheap. The whole figure feels cheap and does not feel nearly as solid as, say, Chop Shop. And even though I don't like Chop Shop, the quality of figure that Chop Shop is is much higher than Waspinator. And maybe that just has to do with the show. I'm not sure. To get him into gun mode, you fold down his head or his bug head and then grab the back wings and push them together towards the inside of the figure, thus deploying the gun. And you can fold the bug head up a little bit and then you fold down the handle. And that is the silliest wasp-related gun I think I've ever seen. Also, the plastic used for the wings and the gun and even these connector bits, super cheap. Super cheap, super fragile, and it's going to break any day just from me touching it. I really, really worry about that. The other issue I have is this little thing falls off all the time. It just plops right off. No rhyme or reason. To transform him into bug mode, take the handle part and fold that up to the back of the figure, stand the figure up, and fold down the bug head. That's it. As you can see, he has hands, but as soon as you move the arms, the head of the wasp mode will just fold up. The, the little waspinator head is not so bad. They actually did a really good job molding it, and I appreciate the little dollops of paint that they used for the eyes. Though, when playing with the figure and fiddling with it, you're going to deploy the gun as soon as you touch the wings. There's really no way around that. Overall, though, I can't say I really like Waspinator. I mean, he's just... He's not a pleasant toy to play with. Why you no know like Waspinator? Waspinator has plans. Lots of plans. Most of them involve killing you. Plans. If you've ever had a Seeker toy before, you can probably guess how this is going to go. Uh, for this transformation, I just pop off the Null Ray guns because, quite frankly, they don't stay on during the transformation at all, and I have no idea why they're colored red on the handles. Eh, oh well, put them off to the side. Okay, for the transformation, we're going to start with taking the entire back plate, or wings, and flipping them around and down. And then we can bring the feet together over a little connector port that is on the bottom of the wing, of the main wing section, and then fold up the feet. One word of warning, the legs on my figure, and I suspect on many others, will not stay together. 
so you're just going to have to deal. For the chest, just simply reach underneath the chest and fold it up over the head, and then fold out the nose cone, thus deploying a landing gear. For the arms, they will, un they will simply unpeg, even though there's supposed to be a peg there, they just kind of fall open, and then peg underneath the wings, like so. And then once that's done, you can uh, reattach the cannons, or the null rays, or whatever the hell you want to call them, cursing them loudly for falling off consistently. And here we have the plane mode. Now, I will admit, the idea of an F-22 plane mode is pretty cool. I like their attempt here. Though I think they've ultimately failed. Uh, there are just too many glaring problems with this thing. One, it doesn't look like any plane I've ever seen. Two, the blue plastic just feels cheap and feels like it's going to fall off. Three, the rear here will not stay together. Um, even with brute force, it won't stay together. Uh, four, um, that does not look comfortable. You can mount Waspinator in gun mode or in bug mode on the top of Starscream in plane mode. However, my problem with this is it just looks silly and stupid. It looks like a giant wasp riding a plane. Actually, that sounds more like a sci-fi special film than anything else. Get on that bad movie, producers. That is a movie. Wasp Plane. Airing next week on Sci-Fi. Overall, I really can't recommend Starscream with Waspinator. Now, honestly, if you don't touch him and just get him in a pose you like and leave him alone, he's going to be okay. But as soon as you start fiddling with him and his really bad blue plastic, you're going to run into some problems. Now, that's not to say that you can't deal with those issues, but I kind of like my figures to be, you know, if I'm going to have any frustration, I'd rather it be in a transformation than in this, the fact that the figure exists. So that is my personal preference. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of Starscream with uh, Waspinator. He has plans, you know, and I'll catch you next time.